Hi guys and welcome back for another video. This is a live stream on all my pets in one video. So what we're going to do, we're going to just basically run around. We've got a load of feeding to do, loads of work to do. It's a dull and grim day outside, so uh, why not bring you along with this day? I've got quite a lot to do. I'm not going to be feeding the snakes, but I've got all the lizards to feed. If we've got enough time, I've got the ghost mantis. Um, that's possibly going to get an upgrade. I've got the baby Pac-Man frog. He's not doing too well, so I want to get him a bit more space to see if that helps him out. We'll probably get an upgrade for him. And yeah, just going to have... Um, sorry if it looks like I'm doing something, I'm pumping the water sprayer. But I'm going to go around and have a look and just see what's what. Um, help out a few of the animals, feed a few of the animals, um, upgrade a few of the animals. We're just going to have a blast while we're here, why not? Um, we've got loads to do. I'll check the egg, egg incubator, we'll run through the baby leopard gecko, see if he's eaten. And we're just going to have a good old day. Are you there, Sherry? How's it going? So thanks for tuning in and all this sort of stuff. Uh, where should we start? Let's have a look. Um, sorry if the camera's going to be doing a lot of shaking and I'm sorry if it's a bit dull. It's um, do, 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 do. very wet and miserable outside. But oh well, we've got loads to do. Um, check it out. The new backdrop's nearly done. I've just got this bottom piece to do. That's fucking cool as anything. Uh, Hugo's going to get fed. Um, Got to check the baby leopard gecko. It's got some planning for a load of bits and bobs to do as well. Um, we've got in the reptile room. What have we got? A load of cleaning to do because it's an absolute pig sty in here. Baby Patman frog. He's going to get an upgrade and hopefully a feed. Just like here, wet and miserable. Where Where are you from? Are you from the continent? From America? UK? I'm always interested to find out. Hey, what else? <laughs> I've got to do all the water bowls, leopard geckos. Where's my pokey? I've not seen him for a day or two. Oh, he's making himself a lovely little den. All the way under there. Can you see him? Ah, there's the pokey's enclosure. A scorpion to feed, the Pac-Man frog over there. Um, the big motherfucking scary uh, centipede. Which doesn't look too good, to be fair. Oh, he's not gone, has he? I'll run in there and... Oh, no, he's not. He's just moved. Thank God for that. <laughs> you know about the millipedes? we chuck some food in with them. We're just going to go through all the baby boas, the baby leopard gecko, uh, the mealworms, and the Diego down there. We've got loads to do today. I honestly thought the uh, centipede was a bit um, dead, but he's not, he's not so uh, that's good. We've got the ghost mantis up here. Um... Um, do, 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 there he is, he's getting a bit big for his enclosure so we're going to upgrade him hopefully and the Pac-Man frog's getting an upgrade and they're getting some really nice um, enclosure setups Don is out the middle, one of my leopard geckos down all the way down there, you can see a head poking out there, if it'll focus but yeah got to check for eggs actually in there because it's about due for some eggs so um, we'll go and check some eggs for there where should we start? You know, oh, I've got to do the grubs as well. God, I've got loads to do. Right, where should we start? I think I'm quite concerned about this um, centipede. So um, I'll adjust the camera, get that signed up in there, and we'll give him a feed and a water because his water dish is empty because he's a douchebag. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. And that is really crap footage. Let's try it over this way. Uh, Tripod and sorry, I'm on a tripod and it's not a very good one. I left me other one with me other filming areas, but there he is down there. He's curled up over the log, um, so I've got to go and get him some food. And he is a sucker for a locust, so uh, we'll get some locusts for him. Big old tub of locusts. I don't breed my own locusts, so every now and then I go out and buy them. But I do breed a load of other live food. Um, you've got me. Do, 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 where is it? Ah, got my dubia colony there, mealworms over there, uh, morio worms over there, and it just saves an awful lot of uh, fun. Right, let's put this down there like that. Where's my spray bottle? I've got to get my spray bottle. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got loads of work to do, as you can tell. I didn't even know that was uh, there. Yeah, locusts are just like grasshoppers, but they're an African species to an extent, I think. Uh -uh. Just got some work to do in here first. 
because his water dish is empty and it's a bit dry so uh oh there he is he's moving so that's good let's give it a deeper going over he loves to burrow down this back corner so i always like to make it a little bit wetter let's fill up his water dish now he is highly venomous and he's a dick so uh, i can't mess too much with him because i don't want him to come charging out at me And let's do a little bit of a spray down this bottom corner because he's got a little burrow down here, but I don't want to disturb him, so I can't really touch him. Normally, when I'm doing this, he bolts off, so I don't think he's very well. He might be coming towards the end of his um, life. I hope not, because he's amazing. Let's give him a little one. Yeah, if you want to know what a locust is, I don't think you can have these out in Canada. Um, but basically... That's a locust, if it doesn't jump out the way. There you go. Hey Carpet Python, thanks for coming in, I really appreciate it. We're going to try and... Um, let's see if we can see him. There he is down there, I'll shut this door because I don't want him to get out. And just see if he gets interested in it. Oh, he's interested. There he is. And there's the locust up there. So we'll just, oh, ah crap, we'll just see what happens. I'm hoping he turns around and absolutely nails it. But then again, the locust isn't moving, so he probably can't even feel it. <laughs> he could just be going down for a molt, we don't know. I can see the other leopard gecko, um, Millie, she's out and about there. <laughs> they know it's feeding time, that's all it is. What I'll do, I'll shut the door on him and I'll come back to him in a second. Um, there we go. Let's come back to him in a second. We'll move over to... We'll give the Pac-Man frog, while we've got the locusts out, we'll sort the Pac-Man frog out. I need to fill up his water. There he is, little fatty. Uh, yeah, I've got to fill up his water and spray him down and feed him. There he is, the fat git. We call him Ben. Oh, he doesn't need water filling up, but I'll stick a bit of fresh in there anyway, just to be safe. I'm sorry if I do miss... Hold on. There you go, you can probably hear me now. I'm sorry if I do miss any um, comments or anything. Um, but obviously I'm really busy and... Got to keep an eye on everything. He doesn't like being sprayed down at douche. There we go. Give him a spray. And I'll chuck a locust in with him. Come on. Oh god, two jumped out. So I've got two in my hands now. <laughs> ah, you douchebag. Here we go. You can have that one. You gonna... Normally, he smashes food straight away. Oh, well, I'll go and get some tongs and I'll put it straight in front of his face. He's getting out. Oh, here we go. Is he gonna grab him now? Boof, gone. That was awesome. So I'll get this one down from up here. There we go, jump straight into my hand, the douche. Check it out. <laughs> I must admit, I do love the way Pac-Man frogs feed. They're just, half their body is a mouth. It's absolutely amazing. We'll see him swallow it in a second. He's, what he's doing at the minute, he's just crushing the bug uh, with his tongue against the roof of his mouth, basically. And uh, yeah, he'll just have a gobble up. He is a pretty, f yeah. He's got some massive back legs. There you go, he's at it. So I'll try him with another one. I don't know if he'll take two. Straight in front of his gob. As soon as it moves, it doesn't even look interested. He's not even looking. And then bang, it normally takes it straight away. Or not. Oh, there you go. That's because he's only just swallowed that one. So let's see if I can get this one without getting chewed. Boosh. Ah, jumps up to the back up there. You can see all the little white bugs on top of him. They're just springtails. We've got an awful lot of springtails in this enclosure because we use it to basically breed up our springtails. Springtails are like a little custodian that um, eats all the mould away. Uh, they eat all the poo. And they're just, they're just a good clean-up crew. But we'll leave that one in there with him. And uh, Next, we'll go for the scorpion. Why not the scorpion? A giant Vietnamese scorpion. Uh, 
what the, this one normally loves Moria worms. So I've got my Moria worm breeding facility right next to us. So uh, I'll grab a Moria worm out of there. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, that one looks good enough. I'm going to have to spray this dude down as well. Let's get him out. See where he is. I've got to fill his water up again. Oh God, where is he? Ah, uh, he's um. Where's my spray bottle? There it is. Now normally he hides underneath the hide, but right at the very back, and he dug out. And there's a big hole at the back there. There you go. See it there. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Normally I just launch it straight down the back, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Give him a spray. Give it a bit. Get the moss nice and moist. Because these are a human species, they're a giant Vietnamese, they come from Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam and the locals, locusts, I know what I mean. Fill up his water dish at the back corner, a bit more around here, there we go, and where's that going, there, and we'll see where he is, because he's going to be around somewhere. See, I don't think he's down the back there, but I bet if I drop... Actually, could he be all the way under there? Let's have a look. No, we can't see him. But let's zoom out. Ah, there we go. So I'll drop it down that back corner and just see if he comes and grabs it. Boof. Well, he's gone in the hole. See if I can get it to focus. No, it's not focused. Let's have a look at that back hole, see if he's down there. Oh, he is down there, and he will eat that. So, uh, pill books, I've not used them as cleanup crew because they're quite expensive over here. Um, I've got an absolute ton of, here, I'll show you, um, dooby doos. Oh no, that's my millipedes. There you go, there's one. Absolutely gorgeous animal. But I've got a bit of food and spray down to do for them later. Shut that drawer up. My... Ah, why is it stuck on? It's stuck on the thermostat probe. Huh. This is my um, wood lice. I've the tropical greys and dwarf whites. Nothing special in there, but that's where I keep all my wood lice. Massive 30 litre rub. And down the bottom there is obviously the male leopard gecko. So, let's run over to the pokey. We may as well do the pokey while we're over here. If I can see where he is. He's all the way. He's made himself a little den down there. You can see, just about see his legs. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to feed him. I'm just possibly going to have to chuck it in and let him go hunting tonight. I don't quite rightly know if I can get my uh, tripod to be level at least. <laughs> Let's get him down there like that. And what shall I throw in with him? He can have a locust. <clears throat> right. Don't know how well this is going to go because he could easily jump out there. But, actually, before I do that, I'll fill up his water dish. It saves me opening the door again. And while I'm there, I'll give it a good old spray around. And I'll drop that in there. Oh, God. Oh, get off my hands. He's stuck on my hands. Huh. Drop him just in there. Close it up. <coughs> and uh, we'll see whether he'll find it today. But I think he's more going to find it through the night. It's at the back corner. Yeah. That's them three done anyway. Leopard geckos are down there like, give me some food, give me some food. Sorry about the shaky camera. I've just took it off the tripod. Hey. Right. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Let's have a go. Uh, who next? Let's give Hugo. Should we go and feed Hugo, guys? Um, yeah, we'll go feed Hugo. Why not? Ah, there he is down there. Do, 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 do. 
Ah, right. Let's lower the tripod down so we can see Hugo. And I'm going to have to lower it a bit more. Why not? Ah. Oh, look, there's my reflection. Hello, everybody. Huh. Right. So there's Hugo. Uh, what I need to do with Hugo, most importantly, is his water dish. Because he's destroyed it. Guys, oh, where are you? I'm gonna leave you just there for a second while I go and clean out his water dish because he's pooed in it. Well, that was nice and easy to clean out anyway. Don't go in that hole, Hugo. And please don't whip me or bite me or be a dick, because I'll headbutt you. There you go, mate. So that's his clean water dish put down anyway. There he is. Hugo, Hugo, what are we going to do? So I've got him down there, pumping me spray bottle. I've got to give it a good old spray down in there now. Ah. Is it bad that I'm really tempted to get another Hugo? If only I had this, I could house him. Oh. I know your humidity is not too bad in there, mate, but I still need to spray you down a bit. Just going to give you a light mist in today, mate. Only about a litre of water. I love the fact how timid he is. Not so timid, but compared to what you hear are horror stories of uh, Savannah monitors. Give it a good old spray down. There we go. Right, that's that done. Let's start preparing his food, shall we? What shall we feed Hugo today? What shall I feed Hugo today? Um, right. I'll let you guys decide what I can feed him, okay? We have got a wonky tripod. Bear with me. <laughs> right. There we go. We have got a couple of crickets. Not much left in there. Morio, worms, super worms, and some locusts. I can also grab a couple of dubious. Should we try. I've never tried them on a wax worm. Are you Chloe? How's it going? Oh, mate, you haven't seen um, my reptile room. It's an absolute mess at the minute. Uh, but we've fed off a few things and bits and pieces so far. We've still got loads and loads of work to do. But we're trying to decide what um, live food to give to Hugo. I've also got a few of the bits and bobs to do. I've got to cut up some orange and some apple and stuff for a few of the bits and bobs. Um, if I could find a knife, that is. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think I should. Um, here we go. Someone trust me with a knife. Oh, look at how many chins I've got. I'll have to hold the camera up like that now. <laughs> oh, God. If I give him a wax worm, um, I'm only going to be able to give him one or two because I don't want him to get addicted. We had a problem a few years ago where we um, gave Diego the bearded dragon wax worms and he loved them. <laughs> yeah, now everyone's talking about me chins. Yeah, the baby leopard gecko, I'll go to him after I've done um, Hugo. But he seems to be doing just fine. He, when I had a quick look at him a minute ago, he had um, a couple of extra poos in there. So... Uh, he seems to be doing absolutely great. I know that you're absolutely amazing with baby leopard gecko. So if you do pick up on anything that I'm not doing or anything that I could do better, just let me know. Um, I'm always open to listening to suggestions on um, stuff that I'm not 100% on. And I know for a fact I'm not 100% on babies. I've done them for a few years, but 
I've just done the same thing over and over again. Check it out, guys. While you guys are trying to decide what to feed Hugo, he's sat there like, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Let's actually just, actually, I'll get him some stuff ready, why not, while everyone's deciding. Um, I've got a tub. No. Right, I need a tub. Um, I'm very unorganised today, guys. I haven't got any black worms. I've got um, super worms. Which have got the black vein going through them. I've, here's one for you guys. I've got a tub of wax worms here that's basically gone off. They've all gone catalyst. I'm wondering whether I should stick them all in the tub, set them up for breeding purposes, just to see if they'd breed. I've got this tub actually. I can use this. I've got to empty it first. Yeah. Ah, my hand come. There you go. Yep, got a tub there now. I've got the pokies uh, old enclosure. I use that as a tub for rubbish. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the right. Ah, let's go to the messages. Uh, now you're going to have to point out which worms you're on about because I've got these two, which are Moria worms, which I just picked up at the shop. Because uh, mine aren't fully matured and big enough for Hugo yet. Oh, there's a nice little cricket in there, actually. Littler than normal. So I might feed him to... Um, do, do, well, both of them are both super worms. Or we call them, in the UK, Morio worms. So Morio pre-pack. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Me um, calcium. I've got a few dead um, crickets in there. So I just want to get them out before I feed any more. Do, 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 do. Today is not nutrible day. I just got calcium with D3. Sprinkle a bit in the bottom. I need to pick up some more of that stuff actually. How much is it in there? Yeah, there's not too much left in there. So I'll pick up some more of them. Um, right, move that out of my way because it's in the way a little bit. Stick that just there because I need that later. Um, so should we do some... Uh, yeah, the babies aren't going to be around for long, mate, though, are they? Um, especially yours. You've got some really nice babies. Let's have a go. I do around about three hours a day with my collection. Sometimes a bit longer. Depends on the time of year, really, doesn't it? Do you know what? I'm going to get all the crickets out of this tub and... Or all the crickets that are left in this tub and feed them off to a few animals while I'm here. I may as well. Oh, I want that cricket though. Where is it? These are all going to jump out everywhere. You know they are. Right. Get that one because it's a big one. You can go for... Oh, God. You can come out. Ah! You... Oh, you dick. Dick. Ah! Right. This isn't working, guys. Right. Ah, oh, one's escaped. Big female. Ah, ah, hey, hey, hey. There we go. Oh, no, no. Ah, you did. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, got you. Oh, suck on those apples. <laughs> you can come out. Oh, no, you've escaped. Ah, you've escaped. And how many are left in this tub? Oh, look at that one trying to escape. <laughs> come on, in you go, douche. Douche. Don't know why I keep saying douche. It's just a new word of mine. You can come out. Got you. And you can come out. Ah, come on. Ah, ah, escapees. We have running. Is that your baby? Why is he running so much? Ah, he's got escaped. Right. Both of you in there. Only one went in. Crap, where did the other one go? And we've got one, two, three crickets left in the tub. Come on. Ah. Oh. Ah, that was a stupid jump, weren't it? You just jumped straight back into the tub. Right, this isn't going fun. Oh, God, that one's escaped. Put the lid on there. Where's he gone? There he is. Oi, oi, oi. Ah! There's nothing worse than loose crickets around your place. They're just chirping all night long. And... Right. 
this last cricket. Wait there, right, I'll do it this way. I'll put that there and that lid on there. I've got one cricket that I've not covered in calcium. <coughs> and um, I'm, actually, I'll leave them in the tub because I'll save him for one of the others. And so wait there. Right. Got a few in there, so we'll go off into the leopard geckos for now. And we'll start with the leopard geckos. Because they're hungry. Yeah, they're hungry. <laughs> I hope they eat because they've been off food simply because it's breeding season. Well, let's adjust that. Wait there. Before we do that, I'm very indecisive. So I should really, really plan these. Let's get the egg boxes out and check them first because I don't want no crickets to go behind them. Oh. I'm going to check these. Uh, ah. There we go. Get the snake hook out of the way. No, it doesn't look that positive. It's nice and flat. What about this one? This one's all boiled up into a corner. But it doesn't seem to be much in this one. Let's check this one first. Need to make that a bit moist before it goes back in. Yep, no eggs in there. I'll leave the lid off that one because that one needs to get sprayed down. And this one doesn't look very good at all. Let's check underneath. Nope. Mm, don't look very good in here. No eggs. Oh wait, what was that? Did I see an egg over it? No, no there. Yep, that's um, that's wet enough, so I'll put the lid back on that one. Let's, let's go ahead. Drop that back in. Donna, please don't be a dick this time. I can't be doing we're chasing you around the bloody reptile room again. Okay? No douche moves. Um. All right, let's move you guys over and move it around. Hey, Steve, how's it going, mate? Can you move your little finger off the glass, please, buddy? Move some over here, some over here. That big one, come on. Yep, there's Donna over the back. She's got one in her mouth and she's going to get another one. Oh, oh that's cool. Look at her tail vibrating there. She must have just grabbed one. There we go. Oof. Right. That's them. So I've got, yeah, my little box, this one here. That's uh, a bit dry. I've got to get that sprayed down ah. and get that going nicely. That one's fine. Um, yeah, I've got to get that one sprayed down and get that um, put back in. But they're enjoying stretching their legs, running after those crickets at the minute. So I'm going to leave that out for a second. And we'll head back to Hugo. And um, actually, I'll grab some more food inside with the calcium first. Ah. 
Oh god, it's gone wonky. Oh, you can see up my nose. There we go. Right. So, still got a few crickets in there. Um, so what do I want in there now? Um, drop a couple of locusts in for him. Don't want too many in there. Hiya MC, how's it going matey? Uh, give him that one. And oh, Ooh, that one's escaped. <laughs> Drop that in there. And I'll also go for a couple of super worms in there. Why not? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That'll do. Take a shoot. And Let's go to Hugo. We've got a couple of locusts, crickets, and super worms in there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If you can't see him, that's because I'm trapped with a camera and it's all the way down here. There he is. <laughs> he knows what's happening, Blair. So I'll stick the camera like that. Hello, mate. What do you want today, mate? Do you want, actually, shall I just let them go for you so you can have a chomp? <laughs> he loves chasing his food, I'll give him that. Let's launch that one down there with all them. So I'll give him a second with that before I put some super worms in, because the super worms, I don't want them to burrow. He's got enough clean up crew in there at the moment. Ooh. <clears throat> Yummy mate, huh, mate. Is that yummy yummy in your tummy? <laughs> yeah, one of the girls has got real skinny. But um I've had uh nine clutches. No, I've had eight clutches off both of them. One of them's potentially done nine. Um so they're, they're definitely towards the end of the breeding season now, the leopard geckos. And um, I'm happy about it, to be fair. I can start fattening them up and just concentrating more on them than anything else. Oh, look at him going all the way back down there. Huh? <clears throat> I'll show you the baby in a minute, because I would like your opinion on the baby leopard gecko and what I can do better. Cause he, he loves going around for his food. He's got a couple of more crickets laid up up here. He's got a locust here. Yoink. Just grab the locust, see if he'll come up for that. Boodoosh. You coming up, Hugo? Oh, he's got another one there. <laughs> His mind's all over the place with them. <laughs> so guys, while we're here, if you're enjoying this stream, uh, hit, the, hit the thumbs up button for us. Just lets YouTube know that I'm absolutely amazing, even though I suck. <laughs> Hugo, you're coming up here, mate. You've got a couple more here. Yeah? Just here. Ah, he's in hunting mode, any? Which is what I like. I like him to be in a hunting mode. Douche, goody. <laughs> right. While he's down there, I'll spray this top end of the enclosure a little bit. Oh, he's in his water bowl. <laughs> Just found one in that back corner. You're coming up this way, Hugo. You've got loads up here. Right. 
look at them once and away. Let's see if I come back up this way for a super worm. Here you go. Oh, I was found. <laughs> I just found a locust. That one that I threw out originally. <laughs> Oh, and another one. Oh, there we go. That got his attention. Boof. King Hugo. Sat there proud as punch. Look how dirty his feet are. <laughs> Come on, mate, you've got three more supers after that one. Are you finished? Do you want me to stop? Okay, then. Oh, no, we just found something else. All right. See you later, Hugo, matey. <coughs> Hiya, Callum. Thanks for join joining us. Uh, so, what should we go to next? Um, Diego. Go over to Diego, see if he wants to chase any food. Du -du -du -du. It's his live food days. Oh, God. Camera's all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Oh. I need to give Hugo a bath, actually. He's um, got a bit of stuff shed on him. Haven't you, dude? Do you want a bath later? Do you? I'll give you the bath in a bit, mate. While I've got some super worms. I keep everything, mate. Um, that one just there, that's a scallopendra black flame, so it's a giant uh, Vietnamese centipede. Uh, that one's a Pac-Man frog. That one's a scorpion. Uh, that one's a Pocheletheria regalis. I've got a ton of inverts on that rack just there. Um, I've got dubia roaches, which I'm breeding up with the babies. I've got bearded dragons. I've got uh, stick insects over there. Um, doo -doo -doo. I've got millipedes, uh, tropical grey wood lice, a male leopard gecko, two female leopard geckos, a royal python, and um, that's just in this room alone. I've got another room full of absolutely everything. But let's have a look. I'll lower the tripod down for this one because he's a bit lower. Yeah, I'm similar. I just want to get on finished laying, finish the leopard geckos laying off now. Um, the poor girls have been through enough. I don't want to see them go through much more. Diego. Do you want to chase a locust, mate? Oh, there we go. Ooh, or just nab it before it starts moving. Why not, mate? Why not? And... Come on, mate. Ah, slightly smaller locusts. Just there. Oh, it's gone. Have I got any more locusts? Let's have a look. Oh, there's two more underneath. One's escaped. One's escaped. Ah! There we go. thing with Diego, I love about Diego, you can hand feed him, check that out. Oof, uh, or not. <laughs> and there's another one for you, mate. And to top it off for you, dude, I'll give you another super worm. I am now absolutely caked in calcium powder.
You're going to eat that one, mate. I really need to get him in the bath later today. No? Okay, mate. Right then. Let's shut him up. Yeah, but check it out. I've got it on my legs there. I've got it on my legs all there. Calcium powder absolutely everywhere. <laughs> It's just the joys, isn't it? Right, let that one done. Uh, yeah, I've got... So we'll go into the other room now. I've got a few praying mantises there. Pat, baby Patman frog, which I'm going to upgrade his enclosure if I get time on this video. Um, in this room, we have got... Uh, boa Constrictor, Leopard Gecko Incubator, Savannah Monitor, uh, another Boa Constrictor, Carl Sunglow, a few of the little bits and pieces up the top there. Um, the stick insects over there, got absolutely loads. Um, right, there's that done. Let's go and do the dubia roaches because I need to get them cleaned out because they suck. Which boa would you like to see, buddy? Um, I've got a Carl Sunglow, uh, I've got a normal, uh, a guy on red tail, and I've got a few babies. I've got a gorgeous little salmon uh, baby, um, still growing. It's up to you, mate. You can pick whichever one you want. I think I can even get one of one or two of them out. Yeah, sure. Let's go see the babies. Um, they're in the reptile room. They need a good clean out and a good water, actually. So I may as well do that while I'm here. The nippy little gits. I hate baby boas. They just like to bite. Baby boa constrictors just like the taste of me. That's all they really like. Uh, do, 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 do. Right, I'll lower that down. Um, right, do, do, do. I need a uh, bear with me a second. Right, there's that done. There's that done. Got that, I've got that. Let's um, need that for the clean out. And sorry, I'm just setting the camera up ready to go for this one. Da -da -da. Get the water dish out because that needs a good scrub. That's our salmon anyway. We're still debating whether it's a salmon and a re we'll know if after a few sheds. I'll just clean the water dish. There she goes. Drop that back in there and fill her up. She's absolutely stunning. Still debating whether or not to keep her. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get some close ups for you because the side pattern in look at that for a side pattern absolutely amazing. She really would make a good breeder, but I'll be totally really not that interested in breeding boa constrictors simply because I don't like to get bitten all the time by the babies because they do want to bite me all the time. Yeah, 
Okay. Yeah. She's absolutely stunning. She's got a beautiful pattern. And she's getting a little bit more of that black speckling with every shed. It's absolutely stunning. It's hard to believe that she will want to be around 8 to 10 foot long. She's stunning. Absolutely stunning. She's more, one of the more placid ones we've got. But now she's out of the enclosure a bit. I can start spraying down and getting a bit of... Just a little bit of humidity inside that enclosure. There we go. Do you want to go back in now, Gail? Because um, well, you can go for a stretch. It's up to you. <laughs> yep, she's off on her, on her little jollies. Come on, Gail. Sorry, love, but I'll get you out later because you can have a little bit of a bath later if you want, girl. Um, this one needs a full clean out, so I'll get that done right now. Where's the paper bar? Let's get you out, girl, because uh, you're going into shed. You're going into shed. So I'll put you just up there, mate, while I get your good rub out. Give it a good scrub. Scrub it up, dog. Morning, Roman. Just cleaning out one of the babies. Uh, so bear with me for a second. Let's drop that back down there for now. And um, water dish. Give that a clean out. There we go. Fill that back up. And because she's going into a shed, I'll give it a quick spray on the hot side. That's it. And uh, we'll get her back in. I know you like the taste of me, mate, but you're going back in. There we go again. That's her sorted. I was going to feed these tomorrow, but if she's going into shed, actually, while I'm here, I'll give the... Um, Beth Gecko egg box or one of the egg boxes a, a good spray as well. That still looks a bit dry, I've just put loads in there. Enjoy a cocoa fibre, when it dries out, it really does dry out. See you later, Rome's Exotics. Thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. That'll do. Perfect. Let all that soak in before I shoot off. Ah, there we go. Let's have a look at this one. That's that bit done. I'll right, put that over there. Next one, I have to adjust the tripod for this one. It's just in there. She, this one is the one that's a bitch. But she's very food orientated, which is a good thing. She, they are all due a feed. Go on, go. There you go. She's 
Pull it to get me already. <laughs> done. It doesn't need a full going over, so uh, she's got some stuck shed on her. I have to get that stuck shed off. Looks like you're going in the bath later as well, girl. Uh, clean water dishes. Where's my tissue? There it is. She is right after me. She doesn't like me this one, but she's like I said, it's feeding day tomorrow, so she is very food orientated, especially today. She's just proper after me. Huh. All right, got that water bowl in there. She's actually got two water dishes simply because um, she's got a slightly larger enclosure, so I wanted to actually have the humidity in there. So, the, oh god, she's coming after me. <laughs> oh, she's. <laughs> Right, that's all the water you're getting because I need to get you back in so you don't bite, bite me. Let's grab it. There we go. You really need, actually I'm going to spray you a bit because you need to shed. There we go. I'll get you in the bath in a bit. And shall we go to the baby leopard gecko now? Um, right, where shall I do the baby leopard gecko? I've got I'll clean her water dish out, put fresh water in. She's got enough Moria worms, uh, enough um, mealworms in there. Uh, let me just adjust the tripod because I've just moved it. Uh, there we go. There's her little enclosure. Um, like I've said a few times, if anyone can spot anything that I could do any better with this one, feel free. But it does look like she's been to the toilet again, so uh, that's a bonus. Actually, this one likes to run around and escape, so I've got a little catch cup just in case. Um, but she's got enough food in there. Little poops down here, so we know she's been to the toilet. A water dish, which I'm going to actually clean the water out of there. Give that a scrub and put the stones back in. I put the stones in simply so if they do, if she does fall into the water dish, she can easily get back out. And it's already proved beneficial when I first put her in here, she jumped straight into the water dish. Uh, so there's the fresh water and the stones, get them back in there. Oof. Oof. And uh, oof. Uh, let's get her. Look at her. Absolutely stunning. The colours on that are absolutely amazing. Oh, she's stunning. Let's check her out a bit closer. Look at that. Look, she's going to get a little clean out today. Uh, it's be her first clean out, so I'm not too sure how it's going to go. But the joy with constantly cleaning her out is you'll be able to tell when she's been to the toilet, when she's not been to the toilet, and so on and so on. Don't you dare jump out, you donk. Maybe that's what we should call her, the donk. There she is. All right. My first ever. Yeah, uh, sorry about that. Somebody tried to uh, contact me. Yeah. There she is. Absolutely stunning. Oh, is she going to eat? Oh, maybe not. Oh, there we and thought she thought she was going to eat, but she's obviously not. Um, let's get these babies out, the more meal meal worms out. There we go. Uh, 
hey, don't you dare jump out. Look at her. Guys, check that out. The first time I've handled this baby and she done it willingly. Oh, she's probably loving the body heat off my hand, actually. How amazing is that? Hit the thumbs up if you think that's amazing. That is beautiful. Wow. But I'll go, you've got to go back in because I've got to move on. You going? What about if I put your hide like that so you can go straight into your hide? No? You don't want to go in? Come on. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want you to drop your tail. <laughs> No, I don't keep retics. Um, they're just not. Um, I can't. I just I haven't got the um time or the patience for them. Uh, they're far too high energetic for me, and they just get far too big. The biggest enclosures I want is well, the biggest enclosure I always wanted was an eight foot, and that's for the boas and the savannah monitor. So, however, the savannah monitor is one in a million. I've measured the length of the wall, and he's going to get a full wall length, uh, twelve foot enclosure. Just, just a case of planning it. Are you going to jump off, mate? Come on, mate. Do you know what I'm actually going to do? Uh, pull that off. And I'm going to give him... Right. Sorry, mate, but you've got to go. How am I going to get you off? Come on. I don't want to do it with, like, from behind. What? Come on, mate. I know, if I stroke you, will you fly off? There we go. There we go. Thank you. Right, so, I've got this toilet roll tube. I can stick it there. But I ideally want to rip a chunk out the side, just like that. And make it round again. Oh, well, actually, I can do it like that. And he's got... Do that and that. So fold it there, fold it there, then it should sit flat like that. There you go. A little bit of a uh, toy for you, mate. Uh uh, back in. Now that is amazing. Put the lid back on her and drop her back on her hot spot. What the hell she just done? <laughs> right, let's sort your hide back out again because she's just knocked it. She tried to come out the back of the hide. There we go. And let's put her back on our hot spot. There we go. So where to next? Oh, right. Do, 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 do. Millipedes. Should we go and do some? Um, sorry if it keeps rotating and stuff. That's just me fanning around. I'll let. Uh, yeah, we'll spray down the millipedes, cook some food in for them, and so on and so on. Just also the legs on the tripod for now. And that side. I'm actually going to give the millipedes some apple. Alright, clean up the mess actually. I will say, guys, you just had a sneak peek at some of the baby boas. I tend not to show the baby boas too often. Um, right. Apple and a banana. Uh, no, it's not an apple and a banana, you dick. It's like an orange and a banana. Uh, orange and an apple. I am really, really... I'm really concerned about my mental ability to even talk lately. <laughs> right. Salt it like that, spin it like that, pull the millies out like that. So yeah, there you go. There's one millipede under there, and I've got two other giant millipedes in here somewhere. But they're going to get a slice of apple today. Take the sticker off it at least. Uh, 
Ah, okay. M. Gecko, have you only just tuned back in by any chance? I say that because uh, we've just had a baby leopard gecko out and about, just done a bit of handling as well. I was quite chuffed with that, to be f totally honest. Alright, so I'm going to go and get this piece of apple. See, so, you now there's a little burrow just there, uh, but there's one just there. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the apple in half, stick one just there and one piece just over there. And uh, we'll see what they do with that. Um, but first, I'll give it a spray down in there because it looks a bit dry. Plus the moss looks like it could do with it to be fair. Let's have it twisty see. There we go. So tell me guys, tell me a bit about yourself while we're uh, milling around with all these. Does anybody in this group keep um what what do you keep? What's the best animal in your collection if you've got a collection and so on? Do you know what I'm even gonna feed a bit of apple please? There we go. Give that a little spray down. Here we go. And then done. Now for some food for ah, there we go. Boo. I've got to get a bit of a couple of bits of food for the male leopard gecko. Because if I'm honest, I just forgot about him. <laughs> so he's on Moria worms today. Five. I'll give you a big meal because Hi Kelly Holmes. Oh I love the pattern on that baby um baby leopard gecko. She's not out at the minute so I can't really show she's not really out so I can't really show you now. But we'll just have baby leopard gecko out and the um baby boa constrictors. I've just got to adjust the tripod on this now. Adjust the tripod on. Yeah, I know what. I That's why my face is all funny. I hate doing that. Like, you can see my chins. I think my chins are going to be my new best friends. I'm going to give them names. Chin, chinny muck, chin face. I don't know. Um, check out. Right, there we go. Let's spin it round. Doosh. Now, we've added a bit of enrichment into this enclosure, but obviously... God, I don't mind it. He trashes it. Different textures for him to walk on and stuff like that. Um, fill up with water. If your African land snails give birth to anything, <laughs> tell me. I'm, I'm looking for some. Um, but not... Yeah, I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> Bit of water for you, dude. Where, where are you? I'm spraying your moist hide down as well while I'm in here, mate. <clears throat> oh, here we go. What do you do with your eggs? Oh, there he is. He's spotted where I am. You can see his head poking out the top at the back. <laughs> What sort of size are your snails, Steve? Oh. I'll get them out of the way. Don't drop that there. Hmm. 
send me a message after about the one inch. Um, I'm trying to find some for feeders. And I'll drop two, the last two inside the water there, inside the food dish, and leave her to it for now. Again, I'm covered in calcium powder. Right. Oh, the royal must be hungry. <laughs> Are you near me? All right. So that's that bit done. That's that bit done. There's that bit done. Right, I'm going to sit down for two minutes. Well, not for two minutes, for 30, for 30 seconds. Well, I, uh, whew. It's tiring work. Ah, there we go. It's tiring work here. The animals. Oh, there we go. Sorry, just adjusting the legs on the tripod again. Seems to be the uh, vein of my, I need an automatic leg tripod extender right and now that one ah. oh do 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 that's a good idea I'm gonna take that um that advice Simply because, I, like I said at the, at the start, I really appreciate your advice on her just to see what's what. But she is eating and she is going to the toilet. But for me to actually monitor how much she's eating, that's a really good idea. So, yeah, I'm going to take that. Is there, um, I was thinking about trying baby do. Oh, God, actually. She's out and about if you want to check her. Just had a look. Let's take the camera off the tripod. We'll sit down in a second. <laughs> out of a food dish. She's so cute. Yeah, she's amazing. Oh. Ah. Right, drop that down there. So, I've got to do now, actually I better I'll ch check on the um, leopard gecko eggs and do the snake's waters next. I've got to go. Oh, no, actually, I'm going to check on. I think the last of my adult black beauty stick insects have ended their life simply because they've, they've got to that age now. Um, so I'm going to check on them, see if they're okay. If they have passed away. Gonna sort out her enclosure for the ghost mantis and the ghost mantis will upgrade him. Oh, I've got to upgrade the pat baby Patman frog and feed that. No, that's what I'm doing next. Oh, what time is it actually? Uh, ten twenty. Spot on. I've got loads of time. Uh, right. I'm gonna have to find a tub big enough for the enclosure for the Patman frog. It's only a baby Patman frog, and since I've got it, it's not really done great. Uh, so it's still dead small and underweight and whatever. Oh, Naomi, what are you planning on buying from um, Doncaster? I'll be honest, I'm not really planning on buying any animals. Um, simply because I've got a lot of niggly bits and bobs that I need to fork out for. Um, one of Hugo's UVB bulbs, that blew this morning, so... Um, He's still got one in there, which is perfectly fine. I just like to have the two in there for the enrichment of the sunset and the sunrise and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'm, I've got to pick him up a new UVB. It blew before it was due to go, pain in the butt. But um, And I've got Diego, he's due a U, UVB, um, a new UVB bulb. His is uh, seven months old, so that needs to be done. I've got a few um, 
just bits of decor and stuff like that. I'm really starting to concentrate on enrichment for the animals, but not just enrichment, moving the reptile industry forward. You think the aquatic industry, that's moved forward so much with biopods and everything like that. Oh, they've got, um, the aquatics have got an, an app on their phone which links up to all the lights on their in, enclosure and stuff and they can adjust everything. They can adjust the amount of CO2 that goes through the water and all this sorts of stuff. But one day the reptile industry will be like that where we'll be ahead of the game so to speak but we're not there yet a lot of people myself included you've seen the um, baby boas they're put in a box so um the more enrichment ideas i can pick up at doncaster and the more people i can talk to that are better than me at the enrichment um, the better my knowledge will be so that's the main reason i'm going I need to pick up some uvb lights some new bulbs and stuff like that but yeah should be a good show it should be a really good show is anybody going to doncaster is Steve still in this, in Live the Real World, Steve, is he still in this live stream? Are you going to Doncaster? Rumour had it you were having a stall there this year. Um, let us know what's happening there. Mm. Right, let's go and try and find. I'm here, sweet. Are you going to Doncaster, mate? Or are you going to um, Rome's Exotics? You're going to Donny. I can't wait to go to Donny. This year I'm hyped up, really hyped up. June's always the best, in my eyes, the best UK reptile show of them all, by far. I mean, Seas down down south, uh, south east of Rackney show, that was a good show for arachnids and inverts because they had a load of little shows going on inside and stuff like that, so it wasn't just like a car boot. It should be a good show, Steve. Oh. Right, container. I need to find a tub of some condition for the Pac-Man frog, but the tub that's not too big so that you can still do his normal stuff. Um, but I've got loads of tubs. I mean, I could use... Got a one litre glass plast. That, that's actually probably the perfect size, to be fair, for that one. Uh, so that's a good contender. I don't want nothing too big. That one's a bit better. I'll use that. Right. Let me go grab a tripod so that I can do this a bit better, shall we say. So I'm going to have to sort out a water dish for him and stuff like that. I'll take the water in while I'm in there. And I'll take the food and some tweezers in. Because he's not really grown that much. I think he's going to be like the, the runt tadpole of the litter, so to speak. <laughs> but let's stick that in there. Uh, ah, another episode of Lower the Tripod Legs. Right. This Pac-Man frog is a dick. He's a very energetic. There we go. I don't need a snake hook, so I can put that away. Ah, oh, little dude. There he is. Um, right, I need a water dish for him. I have got loads and loads of water dishes, but what do I use for him? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Again, it's another go around the reptile room and see what we've got kicking around. What do you think down there that we could use? Um, oh, I need that block block. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I can't really, well, let's have a look at some messages, quite a lot going through at the minute. Ah, uh, why in your super snow clips? Yeah, absolutely amazing. Water dish is a bit too deep. Um, oh, what's up here? What have we got up here? Nope, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. I don't know if I've got a good enough water dish for this baby pac man. Oh, what's up there? I've got a tub of dishes up here. I need to have a shave. <laughs> oh, 
There you go. Boom. That's perfect. Get that cleaned out. I've got a lid off the bug jar. I've got an empty tub of bug jar and the lid's perfect. And is it a good size? Yeah, that'll fit in there nicely. Give it a good scrub. Right then, so back to that. So we've got a water dish. I need some stones in there to help him get out if he does get in. They're all cleaned up and ready to go. I think there's too many there, but that'll do. And some dirt. Let's go into the dirt. Right. Get out, get out. Bit of hat right in there just to help with the humidity. And No, that's not good enough for me. Drop that back in there. I'll grab some more. Uh, right. So, where's my tub? There it is. There we go. That's a bit better. Sorry if I'm missing any comments. I know the live stream comments are going quite well. But this is right. What I'll do, ah. spray it down, get it nice and wet. Get it all mixed in, get that out there. Where did I put the water dish? There it is. So I'll make a little thing there so it's nice and stable. Move some substrate up here. Actually, I'll move a lot of it up. Decent amount. Right, so. Pack it around. Right. Is that bit done? No, it's not. I need to get a bit more substrate around and a bit more around here. So the joy I like about doing this, I can pack it really tight around the water dish. And if you've got a good substrate, you can pull the water dish out and it still keeps the shape inside. Give it a clean inside there. And do, do, do. drop some of these pebbles in just to help him get out if he does get in. I like to put a single layer of them, and that is a perfect amount just there. Move this around. Right, so I've got little bits of cord back. So if I could go like that, then he'll have an absolutely cool little hide under there. But I don't know if that's going to be big enough, so maybe. Like that, or like that, or like that, that. Hmm. Oh, check it out. Bo has popped up to say hi. <laughs> um, wait, I've got another piece of cord back. Yeah, but that's not really that good. Um, maybe if I go like that. No, that takes up too much room. Like that. No, because if you... Hmm. Nope, that's too much there. There you go. Right, so if I do like that, 
and pack it tight underneath there. No, you can't. You have a little room to run around. Huh? What can we do? Oh. No. Um. Um. What about do it like that? And then you've got the base behind it as a hide. That's a bad, not a bad idea. Right. Still keep the humidity there. Pop that in like that. Flip it around. Just like that. Can we get in there? We can if I lift up that side there. Boom. Perfect. Perfecto. Then again, he hasn't got that much burrow in space there then. Oh God. Right. That'll do. We'll just leave it like that, shall we? Fill up his water dish and we'll get him in because he's a douche. Move that out of the way. Sorry if I'm missing comments. I really can't see the screen at the minute. God, he's a jumper. You ready to go, mate? We can go in and we can give you a feed. Actually, if I spin you around, because chances are he's going to jump straight in because he's very active. You going in, buddy? Boop, boop. Come on, mate. There we go. Oh, you're stretching your legs out. Tart. <laughs> right. Let's get... Oh. Plain dead donk. <laughs> Let's get you fed in a minute. Lower that down and spin it around. What's this there? Du, 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 du. Right, move that out of the way. God, there is a lot of people. Ah, something. Stop it down. So I'm just going to try and feed him now. Ah, where is he? Sorry about that. <laughs> I was uh, able to my own for a second. There he is anyway. Um, he's just going to have a wax worm. Um, because he's a little bit too small for pinkies and stuff like that yet. Let's see if he'll take one. Hungry, mate? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, he went for it, but he didn't actually grab. Oh, 
it up. You gonna eat it or not, mate? Nope, no, you spat it out. And that's what I've had to deal with. Let's try it on the other end, okay, mate? Douche. Hopefully with this new enclosure, it might help them out a little bit. But yeah, as I said guys, he's not doing amazing. But what should we move on to next? Don't you want it, mate? Well, I'm going to let you settle in. Oh, douche. You could have had it then. I'm going to try one more time and then I'll let him settle in for a day or two and just see if that helps him out. Nope, oh, right. I'll put that one back in. That wax worm has had a lucky escape. Let's get his lid on. And put him away. There we go. Alright. Right, spin you around. Right then, what should we go on to now? Um first one check the time. Yep, yeah, I've got 20 minutes. Um let's have a look at what we've got. Do, 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 do. What the hoobie jeebies? So guys, I've just noticed something, right? I got where's my e -cig? I got a load of baby millipedes. And um I thought they were the smaller variety of millipedes, nothing special. And I had them for a good eight months and they all just stay the same sort of size, nothing special. I've just looked over and it's massive. I can see more than one, three. So I'm going to get them down and check them out. But I've got a few different species of millipedes over there, so I'm going to check them all out. Why not while I'm here? Um, spin you around to there. Move them over there. Right, spin you to there. These guys can have a bit of apple, so I'll cut a bit of apple out. Whoa! Giant African millipedes. I didn't know the... What are these ones? God, those ones don't even have a name on them. And I've got these ones here, which I'll go through in a... Let's go through and feed them, see what we can source out for these guys. I'll grab a bit of leaf litter out of me supply. And uh, oh, let's have a look. These never really grew, so um, it's nice to see these at that size. Check them out. That's amazing. I'll add a bit of fresh water in there, and I'll chop up a piece of apple. To go in. There we go. Let's press that down. Actually, I'll put that piece in there as well. And then um, there's three in there. Whoa! They're amazing. I never even knew they got that big. Has he just spotted? Oh, it's apple. I'm going to have a food. No, he's not. Fascinating creatures. They really are. Let's try jumping you on there as well. And there's another one just down there. I wonder, actually, if there's any babies. I don't want to disturb them. But, yeah. 
How cool are they? Let's move on. Put the lid back on. And oh, no, actually, I'm going to put a bit of leaf litter in there just to add a bit of extra stuff in there. Bit of fresh leaf litter. Why not? There we go. Oof. Oh, there we are, mate. Now I know what was in that one that's not got a label on it. A funky cool isopod colony. Check them out. But again, he can have a piece of apple. Just drop that there. They're a Spanish species. They're absolutely amazing. And in this one, I've got bumblebee millipede. But they're absolutely everywhere, and I've got a full colony, and they're just always a pig to find. Oh well, they're going to be a pig to find, and I haven't really got the time to find them, so I'm just going to set them up again, um, spray them down and stuff like that. But I love millipedes, but I never used to. It's a weird one. It's very dry in this enclosure, so I'm going to give it a bit of a good spray down. And I'll turn it all over and stuff. Dead rich, this substrate. It's an old forest mix that I used to make. And it's really standing up the test of time, actually. It's about two years old. And I'll give them a piece of apple, again, because why not? Oof. I think there's about nine adults, and last time I checked, about six months ago, there were six babies. Let's put all these back. And these can go there. Oof. What I'll do now... Chop the orange up. Oh, there we go. And because this is going to go for our dubious. Uh, move that out of the way. This is our baby dubious colony. I say our baby do be a colony, it's, a, it's just we separated out all the babies to give them a bit of extra chance at getting the food before the adults did. There you go. And there's no food in there for them, so I'll get some of that in there as well. Oh. Well, actually, uh, let's lift you guys up a bit on the tripod. So you can see into this enclosure a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, they do. They sell loads of dubias. At, they sell all sorts of live food at the show. It's quite cool. It's where I used to start off getting all my um, thingamabobs, me fruit fly colonies for the slings. Oh, look at that, guys. Brand new, I don't know if you can see it, a fresh dubia malted. That's good, it means they're healthy in here. Actually, a second, whoa, there's a fairly big adult dubia, so I'll move him, or move her, into the big adult enclosure. Ah. Let me grab her. You coming out, girl? Come on, I want you... Oh, where have you gone? Oh, there you are. So that's that one done. Another freshly malted one down there. So this just proves... Whoa! Yeah, they're thriving in here. Which is absolute bonus. So I'll put that there and that one there. Get some more of my food, which is just there. This is my own roach chow. I've done a video on how to make this before. Uh, I'll put 
put that there like that. It's quite cool actually. It's um, this is just a little one ounce tub with the side cuts out, and so they can get in it. And uh, it seems to be working if they're doing all this. And I put a piece of orange down there as well for them. And no, I won't put that piece there because I can't get to it. So I'll put this piece in there and I'll put this piece in there. That's them sorted out. Um, where's the lid? There it is. Now for the adults because that's a mess. I'll lift up the tripod again. These really do need doing because it's a state. Let's lift the actual hook a bit more. There we go. They've still got some dry food, but then a lot of rotten stuff, so that needs to come out. Great. Right. That can come totally out. I ain't putting that back in there. That can go over there. That is what's left of a banana. So I've learned my lesson. I won't be feeding banana to these guys again. Oh, God. Sorry if I'm not talking, responding to any comments, guys. Um, what I'll do with that is wet it. That'll just make it come up a little bit easier. Good enough for now. Sit the food back down there, along with where did I put the food? There it is. Put a bit more food in there for them. There we go. Drop that down there. Uh, where's my knife? There it is. Ah, stood on my knife. <laughs> There's some orange going in there. Piece down there, piece just there, and that's it for the orange. Let's have a look at them, see how they're doing. They would have had loads of moths in there. Yeah, there's a few there, a few more in there. Oh, loads more. Oh, yes, we've got loads of babies as well, and a load more down there. So that's good. We've got babies, which means again, they're thriving. So, I'll whack the lid on that. Wherever I put the lid, there it is. And then put that back over that side. Douche. Alright, so what can I give the rest of the apple to? Aha! Feeder insects. Why not? problem after a live stream you always ah your face is cut off <laughs> after a live stream you always end up um with loads of mess kicking around <laughs> so you guys can have that sweet couple of new baby um moria worm beetles i'll show you them in a second um move that out move that out uh, there's one, and there's the other. Move the banana peel out. There we go. Ah, there you are, I'll show you. Two new uh, Morio worm beetles. So I'll get some apple in with them. There 
only a couple in there, so they don't need much. But, oh, that'll do perfect. Right, there's that bit done. Um, mealworms. Boom. Nice and easy. But we're coming towards there we go. The end of the stream. Simply because I've got to go out, I've got some bits and bobs to do. Filming for a few people and ah and then I've got to work a bit later and stuff like that. Oh Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, there's some stuff in there. And up here. I've got far too many feeder insects. <laughs> you can go there. And I'll put a piece just there. Actually, do we reckon the uh, dubia roaches would like? I reckon they'd like a bit of apple. I'll give them a bit of apple. Try it on them. There we go. See how they like the apple. We never know what that's going to be like. So I think that is a lot of stuff done. I'll do the Mantis upgrade. I'll do that actually in a video, I think. Yeah, I'll do that one in a video. Um, so we'll get to see that. But basically, I've got my Ghost Mantis just here. Uh, there he is. I've got to put him in a bit better enclosure. Oh, look. Froggy McFrogface has had a good old walk around. Everything seems to be doing fine over here. Where it is? Oh, the curly hair's looking great. Yep. How is? Let's check on that actually. He's not doing that good. Pokey, you can see his legs are down there. He's He's got the locust that we chucked in there. Batman Frog's had his extra locust. So yeah, all in all, we've had a good um, bit of work been done. Let's get back out of here. <sighs> right. Oh no, wait there. <laughs> I've got a ton of um, new Moria words to set up. It's always something to do, isn't there, guys? Right. Do, do, do. And where did I put it? There's the apple. I'm gonna need some more of that for this. Right, this one is the one we're gonna keep the Moria worms. Just gut load them up for a bit before we start separating them for pupation. So uh Got a good load of them. May as well give them quite a chunk to uh, eat. There we go. This is where it gets tedious. Oh, on the floor. Oh, here we go. Know what? Move that over there. Drop them down there. They'll find their own ground. Move that over that back corner. Do the same again. And what I'll do, just to even it out, add some more oats into it. I'll let them settle themselves down because I'm nice like that. Chuck the apple core in with the dubias. And I'll check on them tomorrow. Right, guys, that is me done for today. I've got to shoot off, get myself ready. I've got a bit of filming and some work to do later. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of you, every each individual one of you. Um, 